Hello, my fellow kings and queens and divine gods and goddesses. Even when you don't feel like you are, you totally are. My name is Tiana and welcome to my channel Inspired by Ease. Before we get into your reading for this week, um, I just wanted to say that um, I work with two oracle decks currently and you can flip around the characters. I might be talking to you or the cross watcher or it might be applicable to someone you know um, and care about. And the other thing is is that even though I'm saying that this is for July, um, like this week, um, it is doesn't have a time limit whatsoever. So you might be watching this um, a year from now and it's still applicable to you. Um, so without further ado, let's get into your reading. Hi Virgo, I hope you had an amazing week and you are just having a magical, wonderful day. Let's just jump right in, shall we? Um, the, I, <laughs> you got three, you got three cards here. Um, and I only wanted to do one because I want to get into the Fairy Oracle deck. But these really wanted to come through, and with a pre-shuffle that um, that I did for you, you also got dynamic. So this message really wants to come through. So um, you have Gaia that's totally bookended by very um, uh, powerful energies here. So um, whatever it is that's going on, I feel like it is very important to uh, ground yourself and really know that everything is working out and that everything um, is working together and to connect with earth and to connect with yourself and to connect with God, the universe, your angels, your guides, and maybe even your soul tribe or other people. So uh, on this side, we have integration. So there is a theme of, uh, you know, becoming more whole and more, more connected and um, integrating, uh, maybe contrasting aspects of yourself or integrating different aspects of your life um, and just creating more, more wholeness and harmony either within yourself, within your work and career, within your relationships at home. Um, it is a general reading, so just take it how it resonates with you. Uh, so I also get that this is um, a whole new, it, this integration is going to create a whole new um, upgrade and level for you in some way, whether it's just emotional just how you feel uh, on a day-to-day -day basis or um, it can actually be just like a, a lot of like tangible things changing and oftentimes when you enhance and upgrade your your emotional state and how you feel from day to day on the inside the outside world has to mirror that on the other side we have dynamic so this is a uh, to me, this is like the epitome of uh, just creativity at its highest form because you're you're combining all sorts of different modalities that that usually wouldn't seem to go together, but they do, and it just creates a very energetic and charged and exciting experience or uh, outcome. And um, there, there is a need to kind of mix it up more. And um, maybe with the Gaia energy, maybe you have been, because you are an earth element, maybe you have been a little bit too grounded, a little bit too stable. <laughs> and, um, and you need to just kind of mix it up. And do something new and exciting and um, like get out there and mix it up uh, so yeah yeah there's big changes 
big, big, big changes. So um, if you don't mind, I would like you to just read you these cards just so what I'm saying can really be um, received as fully as possible. So with integration, the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. Like what I was saying with integrating both light and shadow. And then dynamic. The frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize. So there is a definite uh, focus on harmonizing certain things in your life, just creating more general harmony in your life. Very good. It, is, it supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps to put together a reality that is made up of different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. So yeah, there might be a need to try some new things and to introduce um, maybe Maybe, um, yeah, you just haven't done something new in a while and you just really need that, that extra spark in your life, um, which is very, very easy to do, Virgo. And uh, then we have Gaia until before we get into the fairies. The frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as just as we are, are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all. So let's get into the fairies. And the first card that you have is Mike the Myromancer. And this card is all about detail and, um, you know, rewriting a contract. So, uh, rewriting contracts. So, um, this could be with with the with the integration and dynamic this could be that uh you you just you've just been in a job that is just that has just become too monotonous and not challenging not fun um just not fulfilling for you and so there is a need or you literally are rewriting contracts um and uh, and this can also just be rewriting, you know, your future and um, being very clear about what it is that you want and just being very focused on that, um, Virgo, like being kind of... There might be a need to break the mold here, um, and as you, there might have been a little bit of indecision, perhaps, and the more that you um, ground and center yourself and connect, you you know that um, something hasn't been in harmony in your life, and it needs to be changed, and um and there, yeah, there is a, I'm getting that some, some details of your life were not up to par. They were not matching your expectations. And um, there is a need to change that. And there is a need to, I'm also getting like a flower that has, uh, outgrown in its its environment and needs to be placed in a, a big wide open garden or meadow or just a bigger pot. Um, I feel like there's something that you have just outgrown that just isn't fulfilling you or just doesn't doesn't match you anymore because of how much you have grown. So. Um, I'm also getting a Virgo that um, I feel like Mike is saying like 
you want to live life to the fullest. You don't want to spend any time being unhappy or being bored or unfulfilled. You know, you we we live these uh you know, these short lives and it's just meant to be fully lived. And um I feel like he is just saying just 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 go for it. Just take the pen the pen in your hand and write your future, write what you want, and um, totally. This could also indicate for some of you um, working with lawyers in some way. Um, perhaps, perhaps, Virgo, perhaps you're, um, you're getting out of a marriage that just wasn't fulfilling for you. Um, so it could indicate, indicate that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, there's just a, a big uh, emphasis to to really get get clear about what it is that you want, get clear about um, the contractual agreements that you have, um, which which could be literal contract contractual agreements or emotional and, um, uh, you know, relationship in, in your relationships. Um, and really saying, mm, this doesn't quite match me anymore. This doesn't really go or this goes and that doesn't go. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting. And then once you do that, once you get really clear and remap things out in your life so that it is more in harmony, uh, you will, you will have harmony. Um, it will work. Um, we have unity here. So this is just, um, I don't, it's just confirming, um, everything that we've been talking about with harmony. So, um, once you make these decisions, once you, um, I feel like there are specific things that you need to do, um, very clear cut decisions that need to happen. And once that does happen, you will feel so much better and your life will start to, um, gather momentum and it'll start really connecting and harmonizing not to sound like a repeating record <laughs> um and once this happens you are just going to be so in your power you're going to be uh just so enlightened this is soulless so <laughs> um yeah, and it's going to put you on a new trajectory, a new platform to really start creating what it is that you really want to create. Um, so I'm getting that you were in a place that you didn't want to be in. There are things that need to happen. So you can at least just be kind of like in a neutral place. And then you are going to just feel oh, so much better, so much more enlightened. And from that enlightenment, you are going to be able to really start to start to create really delicious things, not just neutral things, but um, but to really start incorporating dynamic into your life and have it feel really juicy and really fun and just um, just really yummy and really delicious um, from from this integration that that you did by getting really clear and starting to um, integrate the thing, integrate aspects um, in your life and within yourself, and then also being able to pick apart what no longer belongs in your life. And up next, we have the raw card. This is just unlimited potential and possibilities. This is the golden snitch in Harry Potter that, um, you know, flies around really fast it's almost nearly impossible to catch 
so I think this is you, Virgo. You have had all of this energy building up, building up, building up from um, just like just feeling bored, just feeling um, unfulfilled. And um, once this ending or something happens, you are just going to have unlimited creativity, unlimited um, money, um, new positive relationships coming your way. Um, just anything that you can think of, um, it's just you are going to just have all of this energy and all of this creative power going for you that's going to be able to be expressed. Um, and up next, we have the guardian at the gate. So <laughs> it all of this energy is trying to come up through this very tight squeeze through the eye of the needle. Um, but once it does, um, you know, you're, <laughs> bam, this is the green light card and this is like the go for it now, faster, faster, faster. Um, this is Luathas the Wild, that's his motto, faster, 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 go, go, go. Um, so yeah, whatever it is that has been holding you up, tying you up, um, once you are free of it, and this is, um, whatever it is that's been holding you up has actually been a spiritual, a spiritually enlightening experience for you to help you, uh, shed all the things that don't serve you and to really help you question, you know, who you are, what you want, what your purpose is, what lights you up inside, you know, all of that. And, um, and so we can clearly, I mean, we've been clearly talking about that there is a need to rewrite certain things in your life, um, and to let go of the things that no longer serve you. So you're definitely going through some type of um, tight squeeze and this, and this kind of spiritual experience doesn't let you carry any old baggage with you that you don't need at all. And sometimes that can be very painful because um, sometimes the baggage that we have, we didn't even know was baggage. Um, and, and it can also be very, very hard and difficult and painful to let it go because if we're like this, if we've been like this all the time or for a really long time, um, if you just clench your fist really hard, just for like 20 seconds, it becomes like almost like really hard to become unfurled and to un to open up and unfold your hand. Um, so that's that's why it can be very painful. But this is what's required of you, Virgo, is to let go of whatever it means to you. It could be actual literal baggage that you don't want, just like just stuff in your house that no longer matches you. Or it could be the, the emotional stuff, or it could be people that no longer serve you, your job, for example. Um, and so once you do this, you will have um, this maybe new lease on life, just this wild, creative, powerful, unstoppable energy. You'll just be a new you, and life will be very exciting and fun and enriching and fulfilling. And you'll have all of this energy um, pushing you um, in a very positive way. And I just want to really remind you to remain grounded because um, with, this, with this energy, it becomes really easy to, um, to kind of get carried away <laughs> sometimes or to kind of like lose sight of certain things. So um, I just want to give you the message to stay grounded, Virgo. Stay grounded, remain centered, 
which I'm sure is very easy for you. Um, but that's just one of the messages that wanted to come through. So um, whatever it is, maybe maybe you've been kind of on the fence about whatever this contractual agreement is that needs to be rewritten. Um, so hopefully this has confirmed that this is the right step for you and this is like your key to freedom and everything that you've been wanting in your life. So um, I hope this that I hope that this message served you and was of value a Virgo. Um, please be kind to yourself, love yourself, be kind with others. And know that you're never alone and know that you are so, so loved. Until next time, much love and peace. Bye.